the other thing, uh, you know, just in terms of facial rejuvenation, non-surgical though, would be lasers, of course. And uh, there's all kinds of lasers. And in the other room where we'll do the Botox later, I'll show you the lasers. To, you know there. what? I, I forgot. I did try the laser. I tried the accent over here on mm -hmm. the jawline, and mm -hmm. I really felt, I know it might be crazy, you're going to tell me it couldn't have worked after one. I felt there was definitely a difference. Yeah, I've heard that from some people, yeah. Um, it's a radio frequency device. You know, it sort of tightens the dermis, tightens the collagen. I definitely saw a difference. Yeah. I mean, it's something that I have to do more of. Mm -hmm. Um, but I definitely felt Good. like that was, it, it, you know, I, I'm a strong believer when you feel something working, it works. Mm -hmm. The now, thing is, with telling. blue eyes, fair skin like we have, mm -hmm. you and I are textbook for photofacials. Which is? It's like a laser. Uh, it's called an intense pulse light therapy. So it's not technically a laser, but it looks like a laser. It's a big device with okay. a handpiece. It hurts a little bit, snaps a little bit when it hits your face. Not too much. Like, is, is it uh, similar to the feel of the accent, which was a... Like it was a warming feel. A little bit. It's more like a snap on this okay. one. I've had probably 10 of them over the years. My skin was horrendous about uh, probably 15 years ago. It was really, I mean, From being you know, in the sun? really bad. Yeah, I wasn't careful about the sun at all. And only using, honestly, my products over the years, good sunblock, zinc oxide is my favorite ingredient, by the way. Zinc oxide sunblock and photofacial since my skin has been completely transformed over the really? years. Really? Because your amazing. skin is yeah. great. That's I mean, what it says. Man, man, it's... And it was, it was terrible so a lot of it's due to the photofacials because what happens is being irish um you know i get flushed skin you get the, you get the red get the red broken the blood vessels rosacea and the, the what the, what this laser does it goes right to the blood vessels and shrinks them down so for example last saturday when lisa my nurse did my photofacial i on this side of my nose had a a branching blood vessel with like five branches a purplish blood vessel which is gone now you multiply that blood vessel by 50 more in the face and it right. adds up. You know? right. Well, they're all shrunk it down or gone at this point. Wow. It also helps brown spots and there's literally so, no recovery. You do it right no here. No downtime? No downtime. Now if you turn it up, say if someone said like, blast me, I got, I got a month of doing nothing. I'm just going to be sitting around the house, blast me. You could have some purplish discoloration, some swelling, whatever, but most people don't want to do that. So we turn it down where you still get some benefit, yet you don't have any downtime. In fact, we had a, an event at uh, Harry Winston last December that you were at, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact. Which is how and, I um, first tried to, this is the first time I got your oh, that's product. Where you got the product. That's where I got the product. I didn't realize that. So, um, you know, I had a photo facial that day. And then I went to Harry Winston a couple hours later. You did? Yeah. yeah. So, no Oh, recovery. you did mention Remember it, that? as a matter of fact. Yeah. I, but I did say your skin looked good. And yeah. you said you just had a, I'm going to do that. It's, that's, it's like, awesome. that's on my must. Yep. And you could just turn me off, just blast me away. <laughs> and all this we're, kind of, women, we wear makeup. It doesn't matter. True. And the other thing, by the way, uh, women and men but i mean a lot of women hate the sun damage right here i know and, uh, you you look at me when you say that and i know that <laughs> i know that the photo facial awesome really too. yeah yeah so it's i did really this cool. that was years years and years of sun without protection yeah. and, and you a reflector have, you may have covered your face like, why cover my face i don't think i did uh, i do don't that, think i did yeah. even the women that say cover my face they don't do that like, you can hate that i say fast forward 20 years from now your daughter's getting married. You're picking out your dress for the oh wedding. My you God, down, I like, hate oh, it. oh, my God. But there's no quick treatment for that because what other people, a lot of people don't realize is the face has amazing healing capacity. So you can do something on the face, like a peel, a laser, something really deep, dermabrasion. It heals. Why? Because we're, are we more vascular or something? Partly more vascular. And partly there's all these uh, structures around the, the tiny hair follicles and things, even on women. I mean, that, that really allow the healing capacity to happen. The neck doesn't have those. They're called adnexal structures. There's like... Is this many... where the neck skin and the skin around the eyes is more fragile and delicate? Yeah. Because it doesn't have as much yeah, of exactly those... Right. Oil, it doesn't have these The oil glands and things. The oil glands, things. exactly right. That's how the, the skin... They grow up around the oil glands and grow up and, and replenish the skin. But with the paucity of glands here, it doesn't happen. So if you did the same thing on the neck as on the face, it'd be a massive scar tissue. The other laser, by the way, is the, um, the Pixel, or the Fraxel. You no. With the Fraxel. The, 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 so I never see. could tell the difference. Tell me what it is. Yeah, the photo, well, the photofacial does the capillaries and the brown spots, and the Pixel or the Fraxel, two different companies, that's okay. all, uh, do more like fine lines and wrinkles. So often they Can make, you do both? Took the words out of my mouth. Yeah, okay. they complement each other, you know, because if people have fine lines and wrinkles, they probably have brown spots and brown capillaries, because that's what the sun does. So you go ahead and treat the, with the uh, photofacial, the the brown spots, the the capillaries, and the kind of ruddiness. Then you treat the texture and the lines with the pixel or the fraxel. So all these things really complement each other. And like for example, you pick pick uh, one part of the face, for example. For say you have sun damage around around this part and some capillaries. Mm -hmm. 
you do the photo facial. Pretty much, we're doing the whole face. That's right. What you're doing, you do the photo facial for the, the cap. Is it? Does it concentrate? On, like, can you target certain areas? You can, yeah. Then for these fine lines, you may want to do the pixel or the fraxel. Right. Well, then what about Botox? You probably want to do some Botox. Then if you have these grooves right here, which we talked about earlier, well, you probably want to. Fill Every the time grooves. you tell me about that and look at me, I'm be like, do I have grooves there? Yeah, you really you're don't looking have. at me. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> do I have grooves? No, <laughs> oh my God. Many people do. You're All right. I want to know is when is your nurse Lisa going to come back so she could do my photo facial and my things? <laughs> because now it's like I, I'm, I'm literally going to be obsessed, possessed, and I have to have it immediately. Like we're we're going to have to stay open here tonight till midnight until yeah, exactly. I get like I well, want to be fixed immediately. What's well, funny is the stuff that like you said is as educated and knowledgeable as you are about the stuff. Unless someone tells you exactly. Like I am right now. Well, you, exactly. You sort of like you've heard the photo facial, you sort of know. I didn't know the difference, and exactly. I didn't know what it would do. Yeah. And, and some I hear friends that you may talk to are very accurate. A lot of them are way off base. You can't really, you know. Uh, sometimes a patient will say, "Well, my friend said, I'm like, what, like what medical? Yeah, she was in my medical school class. I remember her." <laughs> It's like, well, you know, right. what does she know? You know, so a lot of your friends will say something with confidence to you about something. And, and you know, like my friend said, it was like, well, well I really like know. when I hear something from someone that actually worked and, you know, the proof sort of is in the yeah, pudding. Right, exactly you right. can look at someone, and I love yeah. when people say, oh, I think this is the best diet drug and, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you look at them and go, really? <laughs> <laughs> is that so? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, you know, you look at someone and you establish you look good or you've changed or you've improved. And you yeah, know. A good example was uh, as we were having lunch earlier. Uh, right. Actually, like, my friend Linda walked into the restaurant right. and you said, did you do her nose? I love her nose. I said, as a matter of fact, I did. You go, Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. And sense. she's and I, what I asked in front of her, so you weren't speaking out of school, but she said, yeah, because it was a great nose. Yep. 